I've just got a call from your school, and they say that you are failing. Mrs. Piper called? No, the school computer, and boy, was it ticked off. <laughs> oh, they must have the wrong Joey Donovan. Hey, how many Joey Donovans are in your class? A hundred. <laughs> well, you're all in trouble. I promise, Aunt Mel, I'll do better. Joey, every afternoon you've been going somewhere and not doing your homework, and I am putting a stop to it right now. Mel, help me with your drapes. In a minute, Addie. You, you stay right here. Don't you move. Oh, hi, Boomer. Come in. Come on in. Hi. My man, my man. You ready? Yep. See you later, Aunt Mel. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. But this is important. So is your homework. Well, I guess we better tell her. Can you keep a secret, Aunt Nell? My man, you are in the house of secrets. <laughs> well, we're making something special for our teacher, Mrs. Piper, aren't we, Joey? Oh, yeah. You see, she's gonna retire. Retire? Come here, sweetheart. You are making a retirement gift for your teacher? That has to be the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Mrs. Piper's the one who turned me on to Shakespeare. Boomer was telling me all about Hamlet. He was a prince. He had this girlfriend, Ophelia. Yeah, great legs, really stacked. <laughs> Boomer, I never got that out of Hamlet. Hey, you get out of it what you put in. <laughs> I'll have to think about that. We got a lot of work to do on Mrs. Piper's gift. Yeah, can we go now, Aunt Mel? Yeah, all right. But don't you be too late, because you got to do your homework, okay? Okay, come on, Boomer. With you, my man. <laughs> when Joey heard I needed $800, he offered me $6 from his piggy bank. <laughs> That's Joey for you. He always wants to help. Shh. <laughs> okay. That is the fourth and the second, help. Come on, now, don't start that again. Hey, I'm not gonna start anything. <laughs> you know, Addie, today has been one eye-opener. I have been living in a fantasy world. Well, all these years I've been raising these kids like they were my own children. And I thought that they thought of me like their own mother, someone to tell their troubles to. Well, so much for the dream world. It's time to face reality. To them, I'm just Nell, the old living housekeeper. <laughs> my laundry. When you finish with that, you can do my windows. One more word and somebody might get hurt. <laughs> Come on, Mel, where's your sense of humor? You'll find out at dinner. Mel, <laughs> come on, I think we need to have a little chat. Come walk me to the door. girls think of you as their mother. That's why they don't tell you everything. Hmm. You see, they tell each other secrets. They tell me secrets because I'm like their favorite aunt, but not their mother. Oh, so they would tell you something that they wouldn't tell me. Of course. And you would keep their secret from me because you're like their favorite aunt. Of course. Okay. I respect that. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Let me out of this closet. Only one of us is getting out of this closet. There's a doorbell now. I heard it, Addie. Aren't you gonna answer it? You stay here. I'll be right back. Hi. Hello. I'm 
Mrs. Piper, Joey's teacher. Yes, I'm Mel Hopper of the school computer call. Yes, I know. That's why I...